Hi guys and welcome back for our new tutorial with Sites Matter. I'm Ivan. Hello guys, this is Fred. So let's get into it. The topic of today is how to layer thins. We've been asked from uh, Tirtin Ounce, a uh, fellow producer of us, to do a tutorial on this and so here we are. So we start with the piano, just to make a simple melody. And uh, now we want to layer some scenes, right? Yeah, we have three scenes in a row, as you can see on the right part of the screen. The mid scene, the high synth, and the low synth. First of all, let's make this clear. When you do layer uh, for synths, you gotta understand that you have a different frequency band and you want to put each different sound in a frequency band, as you can see here. Let's hear for the sounds. Let's go for the mid. Yeah, we chose a... these three sounds. We got here the low synth. There is this simple sound. We got the high synth and the mid synth. Classic hardwell progressive synth. plug. Yeah. <laughs> Plucky stuff going on here. Yeah. So, uh, let's hear to all of them all together so you can hear how it is before. And what's going on when we turn on the EQing? So, so let's start with the mid part of uh, our, let's rename this our main synth, all right? So let's start with the mid part. So we got this. And I got here uh, the EQ. I just decided to, to, to take these frequencies that are from 300 to 2K. Yeah, this is Just where the, the real body, the real soul of this sound is. We don't need any low frequency. Like this. We don't need this part. We simply don't need that, it's just disturbing us. And we don't even need the brighter reflection of this sound. Yeah, because we don't have too much brighter here, so... It's not interesting. It's not interesting and you, you don't even listen to that. Yeah. So we decide to have just those frequencies in our synths and we just move to the next synth to better define the sound. So this is our high synth. If you look here, put that in Q. You got a lot of uh, low frequencies on, yeah. and a lot of mid frequencies. So let's Finger start board. to push the... Okay, here are all the high frequencies. So Again. just turn back here. You just oh. start to hear the sound back, actually. Yeah, yeah. So I think there is too much low frequencies, mid frequencies for me. So I want to push it harder, just to listen to that feeling. And if you listen to that together, they sit one on the top of the other, yeah. right? So I I think it's nice. And uh, we got here the high part. I can push it more harder if I want. If you listen, the sound doesn't change. Yeah, All right? Push. So push it more harder. Just when you feel it, it loses everything. It's breaking just, apart yeah. one summer and it's not uh, a unique uh, with the, the other. Unique, yeah, so just turn a little back and I think it, here it's perfect. Yeah, okay? that's a sweet point. That's it. Yeah. So let's now add the low part. Okay, this is the low part. Okay. And uh, so we see uh, we got already there our typical EQ for the low part. Yeah. So if you look here, we need these frequencies here. There is low, is good. You feel it, all right? So just find your frequency. Okay. I you know, here you can hear the stubby plaque, the stubby part of the plaque. This one. You you lose the all the tail. You have uh, uh, under. 100 hertz, yeah. you don't need it because you're gonna have a sub bass there. Yeah. But you wanted this stubby part. You don't even need the reflection, the higher reflection. You need this. This is where the sound lives. Okay. You can maybe so cut a little up. bit more yeah. from the lows. Okay, I think it's perfect. Yeah. But now you can listen here the low part you need on your sound. And if you put this low synth with the mid synth, you listen, you got. A, a stereo effect and you got a full sound, alright? And if you listen them all the three together, you listen you have a good sound. Alright, let's push a little 
down the volume here of the high scene. Okay, you got a perfect mix of the sound. And if you listen to them with the piano, it makes sense, right? It sounds good. It sounds good. Then, if you, I, I, I decided to put a kick just you can so you can maybe figure out what's going out, on, how yeah. it's going on with the kick. You can listen to the, the low frequency of the kick that is not disturbed by the low frequencies of the scene. Let's put a bus here just to listen what happened. All right, let's look. My favorite bus here is the, the Avicii Heavy Milk bus. I love this. Let's look the low part here of the scent. Okay, so you can we can give you some tricks on how to have a, an amazing bus. Okay, let's listen. Now here you can, you know that your the sound we're using is a bass, so just cut off everything here. Okay, listen, it sounds very good. Let's clean it a little here. You can see your bass is here. So, all right, amazing. Listen up, perfect clean sound with your bass and your sounds. That's it. Just a few tips before we go. Uh, always remember to don't mess up with uh, reverb and delay. Delay, yeah. On the or on the scene. On the scenes. We we usually prefer to to don't use the reverb and the delay on the scene because you have more control if you use it outside. And of course, as a first instance, just focus on getting right the frequency bands yeah. and. The panorama, the stereo will came later. Yeah, is another part. Yeah, you first get it right the mixing, and then when you feel you better with the mixing, you can use what you want. You effects, can use reverb, saturators, and saturators, and whatsoever. Uh, delays or what you want, and to get your perfect sound, your unique sound, your your own sound. All right, guys. Oh, so, guys, this is all for this time. Hope you enjoy also this tutorial about layering, and see you next time.